What's up, brothers? Jonathan with Bay Area Throwbacks. I'm back with another jersey. Uh, today I got a Niners jersey, and I got a real uh, special one for me, at least, uh, today, uh, because this is a jersey. Uh, if you watch my Joe Montana video, I had said that that was my first authentic jersey ever. I could be mistaken. It's either that one or this one. But either way, this and my Montana are my two first ever authentic jerseys that I've ever had. Because um, I know the Montana one, my mom bought me when I graduated middle school, which would have been 2005 when I finished eighth grade. But this one I either got in maybe in eighth grade or like that summer after eighth grade within that time span. I know I used to wear this freshman year of high school. I know that much. Um, but either way, I've had this this one for at least 16 years now. So over I've, I've had this for over 15 years and the Montana. So those are the two jerseys I've had for over 15 years. Um, like I said, my first two authentics. This is one of those first two. Also, my uh, like I said, my mom bought it for me. Um, it was on sale after Montana, not Montana, after Garcia left the Niners. Uh, my mom found this uh, on sale at the store we used to go to at the mall called Winners. Uh, it's just like a, all type of sports um, gear. Typical s stores you see at the mall that, you know, sports type of stores with fan, sports fan gear, stuff like that. So, anyway, she had bought this for me. Um, at one point, I thought it was too small for me and gave it to my younger brother. So, he had it for a few years and then I got it back. I, I got it back from him, um, which is crazy because when you see how it fits at the end of the video, it fits in perfect now. And I'm over 50 pounds heavier 50 pounds heavier than i used to be so for me that thought this was too small back then it tells you how big the clothes i was wearing was but anyways on to the uh the man jeff garcia so jeff garcia uh this is a jeff garcia 2002 authentic uh reebok jersey um jeff garcia played 11 years in the nfl from nine, 1999 to 2009 his first five years he played with the niners also played with the eagles uh the buccaneers the browns and the lions so He's only one of 11 quarterbacks ever to have two uh, consecutive 30 touchdown seasons, which was 2000 and 2001, second and third year in the league. Uh, Four-time pro bowler. Also, beyond being a 49er, he's from Gilroy, born in Gilroy, went to Gilroy High School, um, uh, played college at San Jose State University. So he's a, uh, you know, a South Bay guy. He's from the Bay Area. Um, if you go to the Sharks games at SAP Center, there's um, I, I haven't been there in a while, so I forgot what the um, – they have some type of Hall of Fame. I don't know if it's like a, a Santa Clara County Hall of Fame or a Silicon Valley. I don't know what it is, but some type of Hall of Fame, and you'll see his plaques there at SAP Center in the arena. So, anyways, that's Jeff Garcia. Um, another thing about Jeff Garcia is he was a 6'1", so in the NFL considered a shorter quarterback. So he was known – he had like a, a jump throw where he would jump up and throw. That was something he was kind of known for with uh, something – as a quarterback, he was known for. Um, and one last thing that also makes this jersey, uh, you know, kind of a special to me is that I um, um, I started being a sports fan in 2001. So the first quarterback that I was watching as a young Niners fan was Jeff Garcia. It was after Steve Young was already out by then. He had just been out a year or two before that. So this was the first quarterback I was watching. You know, it was that period of time. You know, Jeff Garcia, Terrell Owens, uh, J.J. Stokes, Julian Peterson, uh, Garrison Hurts, those guys. Those are the guys I was watching as a kid. Those are the first, my first Niners memories. So, that's that. And let's get into the video. Or into the so jersey. The bottom, we got our Reebok jock tag, size 48. Um, Yeah, like I was saying, I wear a size 48 now. And when I was, you know, I'm about 205 pounds now. When I was 150 pounds, I thought this was too small. It's kind of crazy back then. But anyways, so we got that. We got your mesh. Basic mesh going on, uh, polyester jersey. The side is, um, you got the side insert, which would be, I'm not an expert. King Leonidas, maybe you can help me if you watch this. Um, I have some of these jerseys, some jerseys from back then, not necessarily Reebok, but that are kind of the same style. Let's say nylon, some say spandex. I think this is um, would be the spandex. Yeah, I mean, it's stretchy. So I guess it would be spandex, but either way, so spandex or not, I really don't know the difference. I'm not an expert at um materials, but you could probably tell me, King Leo, if anyone else wants to help me out. But I think it's spandex, and the reason I don't know is because for whatever reason, there's no more tag, so I don't got that. But like I said, some of the jerseys that I've seen um from you know 90s and 2000s that how would have the side piece like this, I've seen spandex, I've seen nylon. So 
I'm assuming it's spandex, but that's that. So that's on the side. It goes up to here then cuts in the front a little bit right there. And same in the back. So you got that. Move up. We got the triple stitched five. Uh, like I said, I've had this jersey for 15 years. You know, a little worn, but definitely still in good condition. Um, used to have a big stain here. And, you know, I just sprayed it with some of the, uh, I think it was OxyClean or whatever. Got that off, so that was nice. So I got that. Come up. Now, this is where you're someone who has jer Niners jerseys from this time period. You've got to listen to this. So this, you got the mesh all the way to the top, right? The only year that Reebok made Niners jerseys with mesh to the top was 2002. From 2003 on, while they had this style jersey, this was also like the spandex material from here on up. The spandex, not whatever type, but it was a solid material, not mesh. So I keep seeing people with Gore jerseys, Patrick Willis. Those guys weren't playing until 05 and later with this style where it's all the way to the top. Those jerseys are wrong. I'm sorry to let you know and burst your bubble, but 2002 was the only year where Reebok made the jerseys with the mesh all the way to the top for the Niners. Because from 99 to 2001, there was, uh, there they, Adidas made the Niners jerseys. So Reebok took over in 2002, and only that first year they had the mesh all the way to the top. You can go back, look at Getty Images, look at the pictures, you can look up Game News jerseys. So I'm just letting you know that, just so you know. If you have a jersey with that's mesh all the way to the top of Reebok in this style, it should only be a player from 2002 or, it, sorry to break it to you, but it is wrong. You know, if someone has more clarity and could, and could, you know, game me up, let me know. But like I said, when I've looked it up, that's what I see. But anyways, you got your, um, your you know, the NFL shield, of course, right there with the ribbed um, collar. Triple stitch five. Come down here, you got the um, your Reebok sign stitched in. And then you got the, uh, so now at the bottom of the sleeve, you got the supplemented um, Niner sign with the white and black, three white and black stripes. For the longest time, I was just, I wasn't understanding between the difference between supplemented and screen printed. But thanks to uh, J-Mac the Fanatic, um, and your basketball videos, I've realized that this is not, would not be screen printed. This is sublimated. So this is like directly part of the jersey, part of the material. It's not a separate layer that was added. At least it doesn't seem like it. It's just literally, I guess it'd be painted. So I guess you just call that sublimated. So that's with the bottom of the sleeve. Um, some of the later years with this style, they did have like the solid, where it was solid and there wasn't the mesh. It wasn't sublimated. It was... Um, like a screen printed where it's a separate something separate attached to the jersey for on this part of the jersey with the white and black stripes and the niner sign but here you have a supplemented on uh, when i was younger i used to think that there was an error with this i was like oh authentic but they messed up the sleeves but no this is actually how it was so that was just me being younger and assuming everything had to be stitched or <laughs> solid so so yes that's the bottom of the sleeve right there um you got the nfl equipment here, of course, this uh, I don't know why if it was me or my brother, but one of us got rid of the tag for whatever reason. Here, you got the exact same thing, you got triple stitched, same thing, nothing different. Let's so go to the back, start up top. You got the back of the collar here, it's that red or red burgundy, whatever you want to call it, ribbed collar. You got your double stitched Garcia. As you can tell, there's been some use, but after 15 years, you can only expect it to be in such good condition. Plus, I actually wear my jerseys. I don't just hold on to them. Um, you got the, the nameplate. It's not like a thick, separate nameplate that's on top. It, it almost feels like it just goes perfectly with this right here. You just got, the, of course, the stitching around it. But there's your nameplate. Same thing, just like the front. You got the five on the back, triple stitched. You 
Yeah, I love these style jerseys. I wish they'd I wish they'd bring them back, you know, even for just like a game a year, it'd be dope. I always love these. I like the, you know, I mean the ones they have, you know, the uh the simple ones are cool too, but you know, I do like a little extra. So I like these. But yeah, so that's the makeup of the jersey. This is the jersey on me. Um pretty much probably one of my best fitting jerseys where it's not too big, not too tight. Pretty much fits perfect. And like I said. I'm about 50 pounds heavier than I was back then in high school, and I felt this was too small back then. It fits me perfect now. So, anyways, that's that. Like I said, Jeff Garcia, um, you know, one of the one of the good quarterbacks in Niners history. Uh, one of the iconic jerseys for me, like I said, just because of the background. My mom bought it for me when it was on sale. Like I said, Garcia was done with the Niners after 03. She got it on sale because he wasn't on the Niners anymore. So, I don't know if she bought it in 03 and I had it that long. Cause that would have been like my, that would have been my, oh, if you put it, that would have been like my seventh grade year. She would have got seventh or eighth grade. Or if it was still on the rack after 05, when after I had the Montana one, I don't know. I don't think it was on the rack that long. But anyways, like I said, my mom bought me this one. One of my first two authentic jerseys that I ever had. Um, also, and like I said, um, yeah, just a jersey that means a lot to me that, you know, I'm definitely happy that I still have. I don't know, there's something going on there. But um happy that I still have this jersey. That's still in good condition. I can still wear it. I still do wear it a good amount. Um, and then also, um, like I said, make sure the only year that Reebok had the Niners jerseys in this style that the mesh went all the way up was 2002. So if the player didn't play in 2002 and the jersey has the mesh all the way to the top, then... I then I mean if it doesn't bother you cool but if you're like me or you want it specific then don't get it simple as that it had the it had like this type of material from here on up from 03 until they stopped wearing uh this style jersey and moved on to more of the modern um style where it's just a more simple jersey but anyways that's that for this one Jeff Garcia um yeah my Jeff Garcia 2002 authentic Reebok jersey so everyone home jersey so everyone have a good day I'll see you next time. Uh, if you like the video, uh, like the, give it a like. If not, it's cool. If you're already subscribed, thanks for being here again. If you're not subscribed, subscribe if you like the content. Everyone have a good day, and I'll see you all next time.